I just got to my crab pot. Holy f Those little things sticking out of the sand called pneumatophores they're the mangroves roots and that's how they breathe everything that comes down the river which could be from anywhere will get trapped in the mangroves like this life jacket so much rubbish gets trapped through here so I'll take this throw it in the bin so I think this is a mud crab hole you can kind of tell because you see all the shells around here Looks like it's been dug out and pushed out of the tree. So I'll chuck this in, see if I can get one out. I don't think there's one in there. We'll keep going. I was, after trying that mud crab hole over there with no luck, walked over here a bit and this is 100% a mud crab hole. And you can tell there's a mud crab in there because the water's murky, so that means there's a mud crab in there stirring the sand up. I will try to put my hand in first. Don't think I'll get it, but if not, I'll try the pole. Just want to take it slow. It's a lot deeper than what I thought. I put my arm and this pole as far as I could, and it's just can't even get to the back of the hole. on the mud crabs but I got muddy I will however go and put my crab pots tomorrow around that hole because I can't physically get deep enough to get the mud crab if I do get it I'll play that footage back now if I don't then I don't know what I'll do but we'll see you then <laughs> What's up everyone? I just got to my crab pot and I'm never this stoked. <laughs> Holy moly. I'm absolutely stoked it worked. I'm speechless. Look at that. I'm kind of glad that hole was very deep because those things would seriously take my little fingers off. I'm just going to cut the net of where the mud crab's caught because trying to untangle them, I'll get, I'll get nipped somehow and I don't really want that to happen so I'll just use this little pocket knife that I brought. That's what we want! <laughs> yeah, buddy! You hold them like this, you got the swimmers at the back, and you won't, they can't reach you there. You can hold them up. You can see this one's a male, because this thing here is a triangle. The females have kind of got an oval shape, and yeah, this is easily a male. He's a big buck, that's what they call them. The other way you can hold them is through you just grab both the nippers, except they are very powerful. If you don't grab them hard enough, they'll seriously can pull your, your arms together and nip you that way. But 
I'm stoked. <laughs> so what I'm doing is just putting some mango leaves. Bottom of my bag. Straight in. I'll just walk back to my car now. Put the muddy straight on ice. And I'll bring the muddy down tomorrow. Cook him up on the fire. And I'll catch you then. I'm down at the mud flats and I'm about to cook up my mud crab, have a fire. Uh, would you take a look at this? There is just crabs everywhere. They don't want to fight me for some reason. I don't know what I've done. Once that whole crab has gone bright red, it's coming straight off and I'm tucking into it. Yesterday I put the mud crab straight on ice and that's one of the most humane ways to kill mud crabs and lobsters. They slowly die, um, but they don't really know what's going on so it's kind of like they're doing a bit of... You really don't need much of a flame for the mud crab to cook. All you need is some hot coals, stack them on top of it and it'll cook the whole thing. While this cooks, I'll play back some drone footage and some of the landscape on camera from bird's eye view. It's pretty sick. So I'll play that now while this is cooking. Before you know it, you'll be ready. Mud crab's ready now. What you want to do is take it off. Try and get some of the hot coals out. And put it 
straight into ice. I don't have ice with me right now, so what I'm gonna do is run over here. There's some cold water just here from the high tide. That good, better than lobster, I reckon. What do you reckon? Yeah, I like it better than lobster. It's a lot sweeter, the meat's a lot easier to get out of the shell. Kel's hand caught mud crab before. I'll put that footage in now. It's just iPhone footage, but it's pretty sick. That's it for another catch and cook. Don't forget to like and subscribe, comment anything you want to know, and I'll get back to you. See you next time.